everyone. As you can see, we're on number 14 for our quarterbacks. Bumping him down after the signing of Paxton Lynch, I'm putting at DeAndre Francois at number 14. Francois originally signed assigned to the Orlando Guardians with, with um, Quinn and Dormandy, former Tennessee quarterback, also Mitch Kidd from the fan-controlled football. Kid was ultimately released and then brought in was Paxton Lynch, which presumably took away the starting job from Francois. Now, originally I had Francois at 11. Now I have him at 14 because he does have historic prowess coming from Florida State and Hampton. Also being the de facto quarterback, uh, starting quarterback prior to Paxton, felt like he was going to get plenty of game reps. Francois's biggest knock as a, is as a passer. He's never went over 60% completion percentage. Uh, his highest would be 58.8, his redshirt freshman year of Florida State. As we all know, he was the replacement for Jameis Winston after in 2015, excuse me, in 2016. <laughs> Took over for uh, Everett Golson and Sean McGuire at Florida State. Had some off-the-field issues. Went to Hampton, finished out at Hampton, threw 361 passes, 56.8 completion percentage. 2,500 yards, 26 touchdowns, 14 picks. One of his biggest assets is his his athletic ability. Though not an overly dominant rusher, he is extremely athletic. As many of you know, Francois has been dominating the fan-controlled football league the last two years, garnering accolades in addition to being one of the best quarterbacks in the league. He's thrown 19 touchdowns, three interceptions, 767 yards on 92 attempts, adding 10 rushing attempts on the ground. Though that's been the extent of his professional career, he also played in the spring league in 20, excuse me, 2021. But he wasn't the full-time starter uh, with Nick Fitzgerald there. He only threw 44 pass attempts in in the spring league with the uh, spring league blues for 243 yards a touchdown interception, adding 41 rush, rushing yards on the ground. So with that being said, I do think Francois is going to be kind of another gadget player. I do see him as QB2 over Quinn Dormandy. A bunch of the guys I've talked to who are big Tennessee fans have nothing good to say about Quentin Dormandy. So apologies for that, Guardians fans. With a guy like Paxton Lynch coming in, obviously you give the nod to him, but don't be surprised if Lynch doesn't perform or gets hurt, which he's gotten hurt all the time in all his extended professional appearances, whether it be with the Broncos or even the Michigan Panthers last year, that Francois finishes up the season. Tune in for episode 13 or ranking number 13, which I'll go over the next one. Thanks, guys. Have a good